If you're looking for a super unique experience, then we're here to tell you about Sulphur Springs in St. Lucia. They have the world's only drive-in volcano, and you can take a mineral mud bath that's believed to have medicinal properties. We're the couple behind In the Great Wide. We visited St. Lucia during our Royal Caribbean cruise for Phoebe's 30th birthday. And we are in St. Lucia on my actual birthday, on my 30th birthday. St. Lucia was the reason why I chose this specific cruise for us all to go on. So I was really excited to see the Pitons and explore the island. It's the most jungle-like place we've been to so far. Yeah, which was really cool and it exciting. Was, yeah. It was yeah. like being in an Indiana Jones movie. It was rad. <laughs> yeah. Um, we actually did an all day tour that took us to a bunch of places and it was awesome. Uh, but for this video, we just want to talk to you about Sulphur Springs because you can just go there without booking a big tour like we did. Another video is coming about the all day tour though. So make sure you're subscribed to our channel so you don't miss it. Uh, Sulphur Springs is located in the southwestern region of uh, the Caribbean island of St. Lucia. It's near Sofrier. Sofrier, that's correct. Yes, uh, which is French for sulfur mine because of its proximity to Sulphur Springs. Uh, Sofrier used to be the island's capital as well, so that shows you how important the Sulphur Springs are to the island. Yeah, um, it's their most popular tourist attraction with around 200,000 people visiting every year. That's crazy. Uh, that's a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, which makes sense because it's really cool. Yeah. But, so what is it exactly? What are the Sulphur Springs? Um, so let's start with talking about the world's only drive-in volcano because that sounds crazy. Yeah, you're not picking up any fast food here. <laughs> Um, it's about a 15 minute drive uh, from Sofrier, uh, and it's called a drive-in volcano because you can drive right up to it, whereas to see other places like it in the world, you would have to hike. Yeah, this makes it more accessible. Uh, you can hike to it if you want to, but uh, you can just drive your car up, get out of your car, and it's about 100 yards away. So yeah. right there. Yeah. Uh, and since we booked an all day tour, there was a guide waiting for us and our 10 friends uh, when we all got there. There was a bar hut right along the edge of the volcano selling local beer called Piton. Piton. Piton lager. Piton lager. Yeah. Uh, and some bottles, uh, small bottles of run punch. Uh, so yeah. we grabbed a drink and they were cool with us walking around with them to see the volcano. Yeah, I don't know if they would be cool with everybody doing that, but like we had a specific guide for the 12 of us, you yeah. know, so they were like, yeah, it's cool, whatever. You know, you can have your drinks, just like don't be like throwing yeah, litter don't, everywhere. Yeah, don't throw the bottle you know? into the volcano because yeah. bad things might happen. Just don't, yeah, just don't be a dick about it. Uh, but the volcano does not look like what you're probably thinking of. Most people, I think, when they think of volcanoes, they think of like Hawaii and mm -hmm. places that eject magma and lava and stuff. And this is not that. Yeah, you do not see like active lava no. at this volcano. It looks like a giant crater with steam coming out of holes in the ground, essentially. Yeah, yeah there is small boiling pits of water and mud. And yes, it smells like sulfur, which is rotten eggs or stale farts. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard the rotten eggs before. It's not the second it's, one. It's granted, it does smell like that, but you get used to it really quickly. Uh, it's very, very prevalent in the area, so your nose, after about four minutes, your nose gets used to it. Yeah, our friends definitely like when you get there and you open the car door, you're like, "Yep, there it is." But yeah. then after a few minutes, you don't mm. even notice it anymore. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Um, but our guide led us down and then back up some stairs and up a small hill to a viewing platform. Um, you don't have to walk this route. You know, one of our friends um, has bad knees, so yeah. she had to take it very slow. But the tour guide was very patient, um, you know, and didn't mind us taking it slow to get up there. Uh, but you don't have to walk this route, but it definitely gets you the best views. Um, and it gives your guide the opportunity to point out some different features to you. Yeah, uh, we saw some remnants of some failed attempts to harness the geothermal energy of the springs, which is really just something that looks like the foundation of a small building that's now overgrown. Yeah, uh, I mean, they I mean it looked it, cool. It could have been from 50 years ago. It could have been from 100 years ago. It could have been from 20 years ago. I it just, it was overgrown and, and it looks cool. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's old, you know, 
broken down buildings. Like it's, it's rad. Yeah. And it's all overgrown yeah. now. So it's like a jungle. It's really cool. Yeah. Um, and they are very particular about keeping guests behind the protective barriers now, which is really just like a wooden fence. <laughs> Um, yeah. So it's not a big deal, um, but people used to be able to walk on the crust of the volcano um, until a guide fell through a weak spot and got severely burned. Yeah, he was actually jumping up and down on it, and is yeah. the reason he fell in. But uh, but they realized that everybody else could have done this. So this happened in the '90s and the mid '90s, mm -hmm. and he went on to a full recovery. But he did have second degree burns up to his waist. Yeah, so it's scary. It's really scary. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you can still see where he fell through when you're at the higher viewing platform. Um, it's called Gabriel's Hole um, after the tour guide who fell through. It's actually a really active part. It's the closest uh, mm -hmm. hole there. You can actually see it pretty up close. It's really cool. Yeah, it now has like a small geyser of mud that's constantly boiling up from it. Uh, the area is still considered a dormant volcano, which means that it could still theoretically erupt again in the future, but the last time there was even a minor explosion was in 1776. Yeah, it's Just been a, a while. a few years ago. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it felt totally safe while we were there. Yeah, no issues. Uh, it reminded me a lot of the tar pits uh, here in L.A. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With the stuff bubbling up and... and you know, it's just hot gas uh, being emitted, essentially, from, mm -hmm. from the area. Um, and what we see as Sulphur Springs now naturally occurred around, like, 300,000 years ago um, from a weak spot in the crust of a huge volcanic crater that collapsed. Um, so it's a pretty unique thing to see. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know how many places you can... You definitely can't drive into them, but I don't know how many places you can even go that are like this yeah. you know, around the world. Uh, our tour guide led us back up to where we started, and our driver from our all-day tour took us a couple hundred yards down the road to the mud baths. Now, when you go to the mud baths, make sure you're wearing a dark swimsuit, uh, bring a towel, and bring sunscreen to reapply with afterwards. If you don't bring a dark swimsuit, you will get stained. Yeah. 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 Which so. we'll, we'll get more to that in a second. Yeah. Um, but the mud is believed to have medicinal properties, the most popular being that it's supposed to make you look younger. Essentially, it's a natural hot spring as the water runs down from the volcano. Um, and at the volcano, the water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit, um, but it cools down as it runs down the mountain. Our guide collected some light-colored mud for us and told us to rub it all over our skin. Yeah, uh, we've never done anything like this before, so it felt really weird. Um, but we had a good time with it. You know, yeah. everybody was laughing. I mean, there was 12 of us, so we, we kind of made it into a party. Uh, it was yeah. fun. The guy had a good time with us. So, yeah, you know. and I, what I found interesting about it was that I had, like, a rope burn on my shoulder from yeah. when we had been snorkeling. Me too. And I was concerned that putting the mud on it was going to hurt, you know, but it actually more, yeah. felt great. Yeah, so. it, it definitely, I, I had a pretty bad rope burn, and it, and it definitely helped. It yeah. definitely helped. The mud will dry within five minutes, which is supposed to, and then our guide brought us a small amount of black mud that you can put on the white mud to make designs and cover uh, yourself. Yeah, uh, that's the mud that will stain mm, light-colored yes. swimsuits. So that's yeah. why they always ask people to wear a dark-colored swimsuit, you know, just in case. Um, and, but none of us had any problems no, no, with no, the mud. Most of us were wearing black, so yeah, it wasn't yeah. a problem. Uh, and of course, there being 12 of us, a lot of silly jokes were made. We were painting each other and stuff. Uh, <laughs> but it was a really fun time to hang out with our friends. It was, yeah. it was a great group activity. Yeah, everybody was laughing and having a good time. Um, and our tour guide actually used my phone to take pictures and videos of all of us while we were putting the mud on. And we are so glad to have those photos now because they are hysterical. Yeah, they will actually ask you to leave your phone behind because if it goes into the mud or into the hot water, your phone is destroyed. Yeah. Um, but it was nice of him to, to you know, be like, yeah, give us a phone. And, like, he knew it was her birthday and he made a big yeah. deal out of it. It was, it was fun. He was a really fun guy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and once all the mud dried, which only takes a few minutes, uh, the guide told us it was time to get in the pools. Um, and the pools, they look like hot tubs filled with black water, essentially. Uh, yeah, they're man-made with steps and benches in them that just catches the natural runoff of the water coming down from the volcano. Yeah, our guide told us that the further down you go in this series of pools, 
um, the cooler the water will get. Yeah. Um, and we all actually ended up in the very last pool. Because the water was hot. It was still very we, hot. We tried to get into the hotter ones, but it, mm, mm, yeah, mm, it not was, for me. It was still very hot. It was yeah. around, I think the one we got in was around 110 degrees Fahrenheit, um, yeah. which is around 43 degrees Celsius for which those is, of you on that. Which is pretty common in like hot tubs and stuff, but like it was still hot. It was I, hot. It was hot. Yeah. Uh, but you go in to wash the mud off and purify mm -hmm. your skin and it, and it helps again with the rejuvenation process. Yes. Um, and yes, the water is black, but it's not black because it's dirty. <laughs> it's not black because of the mud. Uh, it turns black because of a chemical reaction between the naturally occurring sulfur and iron that is around the volcano. If you book a tour like we did, most of them will include a trip to a nearby waterfall after the mud bath too for a second rinse. It was one of my favorite places on the Caribbean cruise we took. Yeah, it was it was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but again, make sure that you take a towel because... They don't have them. Yeah, they don't provide them. So yeah. bring a towel. Uh, something that they also don't advertise on their website is that they do allow walk-ins. The website makes it look like you have to book a tour, but you don't. Yeah. Um, now, we can't speak from personal experience with just going in as a walk-in because we did book a whole tour. Um, but if you're staying nearby in uh, Sofriere, mm -hmm. uh, instead of visiting on a cruise ship like we did, uh, you may want to try to just do, go as a walk-in because it'll end up saving you a bunch of money. Yeah, we found info on TripAdvisor and another travel blog that says you can just show up and pay a small fee to get in. Um, exactly how much the fee is, though, and what it includes varies depending on where we found the information. So if you know more specific information about this, please leave a comment and tell us because we do want to know. Yeah. Uh, Sulphur Springs themselves offer tour options as well, including a half-day tour that includes a guided tour of the volcano, the mud bath, a visit to a nearby waterfall, and round-trip transportation from anywhere in St. Lucia, including the cruise port or hotels. Yes. Which is awesome. Yeah. Um, they, and then they do a full day tour, which includes everything from the half day tour, plus a local Creole lunch um, and a boat tour with views of the pitons and a snorkeling stop where they also provide the gear for you to go snorkeling. Yeah, that's the tour that we did. Uh, and we're going to make another video about that. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. Um, and they also offer a private tour directly through Sulphur Springs, but it's a little unclear about what all it includes and if there's a minimum number of people you need. Um, but it seems pretty similar to the all day tour that we did. So if you're interested in that, I would say contact them directly about that. Yeah. It's possible that we actually had a private tour because it was just for the 12 of us. I mean, maybe, maybe that's why, but I, I get the impression that if it was just the two of us going and we tried to book a full day tour, we'd probably get thrown in with some other people. Yeah. Um, but, but again, for more info and pricing, head to the first link in the description to see our blog article. We highly recommend checking it out if you're ever in St. Lucia. It was such a unique experience and on such a beautiful island. It genuinely felt unlike any other place we've ever been to. Yeah, uh, tell us in the comments what you think about Sulphur Springs now that you've seen this video. Would you go? Would you not want to go? And tell us if you know of other places like this because we haven't found any yet. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the Great Wide somewhere. Bye.